after five magnificent nights here in very hot Singapore. We're heading to Japan today and it's bucketing down like it did just prior to the start of yesterday's Singapore GP. A tree's fallen down on Scott's Road so there's hell to play in the traffic. So I thought I'd spend 20 minutes editing. Let's go. We're going to Tokyo, business class. We all have to show our vaccination certificates here and we have to have an app and you have to have a blue screen when you get into Japan and there's a lot of filling out of forms online but the blue screen allows you to go through without having to stand in line for hours. Thank you to Tonya for doing five versions of that application. We could use the JAL lounge but because we're traveling on Qantas tickets we're allowed to use the Qantas Lounge, but this is the first lounge, which is only available to Platinum members or first class. Now, there is no first class in this flight, but Tonya and I are both Platinum, and we're allowed a couple of guests, I think, per person, so I think we can get all five of us into the first class lounge, and if we do, you'll love it. I would have liked to have come in here, however, they've told us that we can't come in until after eight. Obviously, they've got to service the Qantas passengers and the JAL passengers come second, so we may come back here at eight and have a look. But it looks very comfortable, very spacious, and you can get a proper cooked meal and plenty to drink. Having been turned away from the first class lounge, we've come over to the business lounge and it's as, as I remember it, it's excellent. Food wise, they offer two hot dishes, pork belly, that, which is just bland. And the second thing is the chicken laksa. I'm probably not gonna have that. What did you get? Chicken and some rice. Yeah, really nice. And for dessert, I'm trying the carrot cake. Mm, it's not great either. It's a little bit dry. I can tell you that my youngest son, Jace, to my left, helped me out in Singapore, did a great job. We over 52 hours at the track, and we walked 51 kilometers over the four days. He's now coming to Japan for that race as well. I walked more than you as well. Tell you why, I got back to the media center to do a photo shoot with Jackie Stewart, and I realized I'd left a camera out on track, so he had to race back about I know, 800 metres, a kilometre, and then a kilometre back. That is the sixth time in the last year and a bit that I've lost camera gear, and every time I've been lucky enough to get it back. About a seven minute walk from the lounge to gate D36, where people are queuing to get on board JAL 36 to Haneda. Now, I have never flown into Haneda Airport before. I've always flown into Narita. Haneda's a lot closer to Tokyo, which is great for travel time. And this flight looks like it's pretty busy. Why'd you have to take your shoes off, huh? They were suspicious. I never actually went through. <laughs> the boarding pass, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I can't use a face mask for Raider. She's got it. She's got it in there. She, she said that she, she lost in your your own so I got to give you a letter. She's punishing me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I have Thank you. I don't come with you. Now. This business class seat is a little tight, but certainly not uncomfortable in any way. There's no mattress, but you do get a blanket. It's a bit warm in here at the moment, but there's a, a nice big tray that folds down. Over here, there's the handset for operating the entertainment system. Seat controls are to my left. It does fold down into a lie flat seat. And there's a small locker for storage, along with electricity for your computer and for charging your phone. It's about a seven hour flight to Haneda Airport and unfortunately there's no meal on takeoff. You get some snacks, it's just simply some noodles and a little bit of that sort of stuff and then there's a breakfast two hours prior to landing. But you do get the opportunity to say, no, I do not want the breakfast, so please do not wake me. And I imagine most people on this flight, and there are a number of F1 people traveling, will want to go straight to sleep and wake up as close as possible to landing. And the twin seats here in the middle have two different sleeping heights, so Tonya's bed is at a higher height than mine. Oh, and what about the toilets? Come with me and I'll show you. This is it, the bathroom on the uh, 787-900. Looks beautiful and new, lovely finishes. We've got some of this stuff, which is 
hand sanitizer, a big bottle of Shiseido moisture lotion. It's quite clear, not what you normally get in a moisture lotion. Moisture emulsion, well that one's a bit thicker. There's also a fold down, maybe changing table, big mirror, big mirror, smaller mirror, I guess that's for shaving, but that's at a crazy low height. Tissues, harder paper towels, you brush your teeth. That is the smallest tube of toothpaste I have ever seen. That is the entire contents of this tube. Hand soap, toilet paper obviously, a bin, a sink with hot and cold running water, and a lock to hang your jacket. And one of the best things about this bathroom is the toilet has a sprayer. Most Japanese toilets have water sprays so that when you're finished, press the button and you get a jet of water up your clacker. This is a very hot aircraft and the blanket they give you is more like two lightweight sheets sewn together. Oh, we just had an aborted landing. I think we're probably about half a kilometre from the runway and uh, now we're ascending, doing a go round. I think I've only had, I'm guessing, three of those in my entire life. So that will put us a little bit behind schedule, but we have nothing to do today and I'm not sure what time we can get into our hotel given that we're landing at 5 a.m. Much better touch down the second time. Thank you. Hello. Been a long time since I've been in Japan and I'm happy to be here. Getting off the plane straight away, you had to show your little blue My Sauce app. And because we had our blue screen, we got this piece of plastic paper and now we go through this. Thank you very much, thank you. Didn't expect it to be that easy. Good morning. Few F, good morning. Few F1 fans waiting out here for drivers. Who are you waiting for? Sebastian, Bette. Do you know what flight he is on? Uh, no, I don't know. Well, we were on the JAL flight. He's not on the JAL flight. Really? No, he's not JAL. <laughs> Now these guys have to wait for their tour guide, but Jace and I, because we're here on the different visa, we can head straight into town. Haneda's a much smaller airport than Narita, and pretty much you walk straight out of departures and maybe 100 meters to a taxi. And now we're heading off with our friend here in the large London style taxi. Last time I was here was probably four years ago and I'm very happy to be back. I love it here a lot and looking forward to the trip and the Grand Prix. Jace and I are in this cab and why haven't we got the other three? Well, because of the tour system that they had to operate under to get into the country, they have to wait for their tour guide who doesn't start until 7 a.m. So they have an hour of sitting around out there at the airport while we're en route to the hotel where we can hopefully get a room and check in early. Well, that was a 28 minute journey. It was about 8,600 yen, which is 92 Aussie dollars, about 55 euros or US dollars. This is a very nice hotel. Serene, lovely music, plush furniture, nice art. Huh. We can take a bicycle on loan. All right, Mr. Yellow is a truck spot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will explain sure. our hotel system. Sure. Tonya has picked a fantastic hotel. It's right in the heart of Shinjuku. I love the hard floors. That is the way to do a bath shower. I love the white linen. I've ordered a couple of memory foam pillows. The view's pretty good out here. So how about this? This is on the 16th floor of this magnificent hotel. There's this beautiful semi-indoor outdoor part where you serve drinks and canapes for one hour a day between 5 and 6 p.m. And get this, this is a little wedding chapel up here on the 16th floor as well. Oh, what a perfect day. Drink sangria in the park, as Lou Reed says. We've had a pretty easy first day in Tokyo, and now we're going out for a bite to eat. We're in the heart of Harajuku, and it's a buzz tonight, but luckily not too many tourists about because Japan is still pretty much closed to the major tourist markets. Dinner tonight in Omoto Sando Hills. What have we ordered tonight, Jason? I went for the Tagliatelle Ragu Bolognese. As I did, and Tyler went with 
Lasagna. Lasagna and Brie has... The risotto. <laughs> this bowl, about 15 seconds ago, had truffle fries with parmesan grated over the top. And I can tell you, that was probably the best bowl of fries I have ever had. Crikey, mate. <laughs> And of course, no trip to Tokyo is complete without a visit to Shibuya Crossing, where strangely, everybody else walks backwards. If you've liked the video, please click the like button, click the subscribe while you're at it too, and become a member for a whole host of benefits. Thanks for watching. And stay passionate. <laughs>